Welcome back to the another video of Cricket Thrill. The debut of Narendra Harwani is no flash in the pan. In the beginning, Narendra Harwani could not persuade even club batsman in CK Naidu's old town of Indore to bat against him. He was chubby and optimistic, indulging in back of hand up spin out of unusual interest and a great deal of hope. In fact, he had to do so most of his practice outside the Nehru Stadium. Narendra Harwani, born on 18 October 1968, actually a leg spin bowler who played for India. He is mainly remembered for his success on his test debut. Harwani's debut was in the final test of the series at Madras. The wicket was underprepared. India won an important toss and made 382 runs. Harwani took three of the five West Indies wicket to fall on the second day. On the third morning, Harwani cleaned board with Richards with a googly, which the batsman failed to pick, and dismissed the remaining four batsmen to finish with 8 for 61. This made him only the fourth bowler to take eight wickets in an innings on debut. Set 416 runs to win in the second innings, West Indies were dismissed in about 40 hours. The batsmen tried to hit out, the result of which was five stumping of the wicket keepers Kiran Morey. Harwani took 8 for 75 for match figure of 16 for 136. This battered the record of Bob Messi, who had taken 16 for 137 on his debut in 1972 and is still a record to date. Let's watch his spell and enjoy. That's Walsh. Have a look at it. Yes, service Nick. And look at the Indian team. And Hirani strikes again. West Indies 1-8-3-9. Losing the four wickets. Most importantly, that of Richards very early this morning. And from the Indian point of view, the Pungal celebrations certainly in full swing. Bring you up to date, Richards went at 163, bowled Hirwani, and then Butts, Dujon, and the last man, Wash. Patterson taking strike, and Hirwani has seven already. And Hirwani is the first Indian to capture seven wickets in an innings on his debut. Abid Ali had six wickets. That was in Adelaide, Australia. Doshi uh, had six. Vivi Kumar at Madras. And Vivi Kumar and the late Mohammed Nassar had five each. So, very august company indeed. West Indies 9 for 183 in reply to India's first inning score of 2382. They have of course, avo of course avoided the follow-on. 
But I rather doubt, even if he had the option, the Shastri would have uh, imposed the follow-on. He would have preferred to have batted. And I'm sure he will uh, enjoy that, consolidate. Whilst the... Davis had first going round the wicket. Uh, Necessary ploy for the back pad. That's it. about the weather with India on the threshold of what perhaps well, that's our ball always a different ball game outcome of this the remaining two and a half days Hirwani of course is the 17th occasion that an Indian bowler has captured five or more wickets in an innings and this is the 29th test played in Madras and this is the 17th occasion in Madras not all are at this historic Chapak ground some have been, of course, at the Corporation Stadium. And the third time against the West Indians. The first occasion, Dr. Fatka, 7 for 159. A bigger pardon, Bol Hirwani, 68. Dujon stumped More Bol Hirwani, 24 butts, caught Raman Bol Hirwani, no score. Wash. West Indian innings and Hirwani gets eight wickets. What a historic occasion indeed. And the crowd absolutely in ecstasy. Yes, young man, you can smile. The wrong gun. Yes, and he deserves every bit of it. One eighty four all out and complete domination. A one man assault almost by Hewani. Lead of hundred and ninety eight runs. But Hirwani is certainly the toast of the town. Another important and uh, informative statistical detail. Bowlers to capture maximum wickets in tests on their test debut. It short of Australia, 8 for 43 against England in 1894-95, just a few years ago. Massey, Australia, 8 for 
84 and 8 for 53 at Lords in 1972 against England and Alf Valentine of the West Indies 8 for 92 against England. So Hirani joins these and becomes the fourth and the first Indian. Well, thanks for that correction, first station. Just give you a complete uh, wrestling and scorecard in a moment. The light roller. Size, of course, belying the weight. So we have it on the board. Haynes, Simmons, Richardson, Logie, and Hooper were out the night before. And the rest this morning. Richards to Hirani, Logie to Hirani. Hirani, in fact, getting all the wickets so far today. Total of 184 in 73.3 overs and the bowling figures, couple of days, seven overs. That's the scorecard of the West Indian batting. Bowling figures, couple of days, seven overs, one for 20. Amanath, three overs, none for eight. Shastri, 13 overs, six maidens, one for 29. Ayu, 28 overs, 10 maidens, none for 47. Hirani, 18.1 overs, 3 maidens, and 8 for 61. The other bowler, Ajay Sharma, 4 overs for 9 runs. In the first hour of 15.1 overs. The amazing thing is that on this track where Hirwani turned the ball and took 8 wickets, Ayu, who bowled very sensibly and economically, was unable to get even one. This one reminds uh, one minute of the historic occasion many years ago in England when Laker got 19 wickets against the Australians and the other spinner was Tony Locke and he got only one wicket. Left arm, orthodox and a vicious spinner of the ball. This game is peculiar. But it's nice to see a leg spinner coming on and Picking the wickets, it's always a joke watch. Crafty left, uh, leg spinner in action. India has been fortunate over the years to produce many of them, right from Subhash Gupte, Balu Gupte, Vivek Kumar, the drill of the names, not to forget. An unorthodox version in Chandra, Chandra Shekhar, and then Shiva Ramakrishnan, and now Hirwan. Yes, the tradition is certainly there. And I think now the scene is set for some dedicated professional batting by the Indian batsman. And, and the fourth ever in the world to achieve this feat. And for a man so young in years, a tremendous, dramatic entry into this hallowed arena of international cricket. <laughs> जिन्होंने अपने क्रिकेट जीवन का पहला टेस्ट मैच खेलते हुए एक पारी में आठ विकेट लिए। एक अन्य खिलाड़ी W.V. रामन ने भी पहला टेस्ट मैच खेलते हुए अच्छी बल्लेबाजी का परिचय दिया। रामन ने भारत की दूसरी पारी में अब तक 82 रन बना लिए हैं और खेल रहे हैं। आज जब तीसरे दिन का खेल रन संख्या 5 विकेट पर 147 रन से आगे खेलना शुरू किया और उसके बाकी खिलाड़ी केवल 37 रन और जोड़ सके आज आउट होने वाले सभी खिलाड़ियों के विकेट नरेंद्र हिरवानी ले लिए रिचर्ड्स 68 और ड्यू पर रन बनाकर आउट हुए वेस्ट इंडीज की पहली बारी 184 रन पर सिमट गई और इस तरह भारत 
कि उसको पहली पारी के आधार पर एक सौ अठानवे रन की बढ़त मिल गई भारत की दूसरी पारी में पहले तीन विकेट बहुत जल्दी गिर गए अरुण लाल और महेंद्र मनाथ कोई महत्वपूर्ण योगदान नहीं दे सके श्रीकांत भी केवल सत्रह रन बनाकर आउट हो गए अग्रदीन ने अच्छे उनतालीस रन बनाए और उन्हें रिकेट्स की गेंद पर डेविस ने कैच आउट किया डब्ल्यू रामन ने जमकर और बढ़िया बैटिंग की ओर अपने बयासी के स्कोर में कुछ उम्दा शॉट लगाए अजय शर्मा ने भी अपने क्रिकेट जीवन का पहला टेस्ट मैच खेलते हुए रामन को अच्छा साथ दिया अजय शर्मा बाईस रन बनाकर खेल रहे हैं अब तक की रन संख्या भारत तीन और चार विकेट पर एक सौ इक्यासी रन वेस्ट इंडीज एक रन हॉकी पंद्रह उद्योगों को राष्ट्रीय उत्पादकता पुरस्कार सरहदी गांधी की हालत अभी भी गंभीर जापान और अमेरिका डॉलर की स्थिति सुधारने की व्यवस्था पर सहमत और मद्रास टेस्ट में नरेंद्र हिरवानी का एक पारी में आठ विकेट लेने का रिकॉर्ड भारत की स्थिति मजबूत इसके साथ ही समाचार समाप्त हुए Government approves a proposal to set up a national literacy mission. Jammu and Kashmir to have a 450 crore rupee annual plan for 1988-89, and in the Madras Test, Narendra Hirwani creates history with a record performance of eight wickets in an innings on Test debut. India finished the day in a commanding position. Hirwani created history on the third day's play of the Madras Test today by becoming the first Asian to take eight wickets in an innings on Test debut. In the morning, the visitors, resuming at the overnight score of 147 for five, could add only 37 runs. Hirwani took all the five wickets that fell today, including that of Richards for 68 and Dujon for 24. The West Indies were all out for 184, giving India a first innings lead of 198 runs. India lost Srikant early in its second innings for 17. He fell LBW to Davis. Azaruddin chipped in with a useful 39. He was caught by Davis off Richards. Local lad debutant Raman showed rare maturity in his unbeaten. Yet another debutant, Adesh Sharma, gave Raman useful support in 22. India ended the day in a commanding position of an overall lead of 379 runs. The score so far: India 382 and 181 for four. West Indies 184. पहले पारी में उन्होंने अपने लेग ब्रेक, गोगली, टॉप स्पिन और फ्लिपर्स का बहुत ही चतुराई से उपयोग किया था, सही लेंथ और दिशा रखी थी। और आठ वेस्ट इंडीज के विकेट लेकर भारत को तो मैच में सशक्त स्थिति में ला दिया था ओवर में अब तक तीनों गेंदे लेग ब्रेक की हैं उन्होंने
I see that catch. I'll take it out. Mudan par Mohinder Amarnath ne catch kar liya. Aur dusri pari mein bhi Narendra Khirwani ne West Indies ke patan ke shuruat karai. देखिए किस तरह से हुआ है थ्री से कोनों से उन्होंने गेंद की और ड्राइव करने की कोशिश की उठाया मेडॉन की तरफ सीधा और मोहिंदर अमरनाथ ने खुशी के साथ ये तोहफा स्वीकार कर लिया इस तरह चौथे टेस्ट मैच के चौथे दिन लंच के समय वेस्ट इंडीज ने अपनी दूसरी पारी में एक विकेट पर 22 रन बनाए नो रन वन विकेट दिस इज गोइंग टू बी अ बिट ऑफ अ बैटल बैटल ऑफ विट्स बैटल ऑफ टेक्निक अ बैटल ऑफ टेम्परमेंट एंड अ बैटल ऑफ कैरेक्टर The West Indies certainly have to pull everything gone off the glove or the shoulder or the elbow Oh there is going to be a lot of dramatics there is going to be a lot of tension the umpires will need to be constantly alert Well yeah, there is one thing I wouldn't like to be in such a situation and that's a batsman because the dice is loaded against you there's a turning track there's seven fielders around your nose any one of whom can pick your pocket if you're not watching and uh, ball turning and jumping but then this is the prerogative of the home side to have a pitch which can assist their bowlers and the great challenge of international cricket is to overcome alien conditions absolutely right Now when can you see a sight like this a ball being thrown up in the air and a superb square cut a square drive the challenge of cricket is on wickets that aid and abet bowlers and batsmen for far too long have we seen in international cricket wickets helping suiting batsmen it's time that test cricket came back into its perspective and madras has been the venue of some scintillating nerve tingling matches we had the tight test against australia when i wouldn't be surprised if not a single soul stirred from his seat in the heat of september october but now we have january the days of pongal festive occasion the weather is balmy and the cricket scintillated and you have young cricketers on the ball दिए गए हिरवानी और अयूब द्वारा जिसमें हिरवानी ने पांच विकेट लिए और अयूब ने एक विकेट लिया नवोदित हिरवानी जिन्होंने अपने जिंदगी के पहले टेस्ट मैच में ही अपने लिए इतिहास बना लिया है रमना फील्डर एक रन पोंगल का त्योहार किसानों का त्योहार कहा जाता है बी 
ये क्लाइड बट्स लेकिन ऐसा तो इस विकेट पर अक्सर होता ही जा रहा है खास करके जबकि हिरमानी और अयूब बॉलिंग कर रहे हैं बिल्कुल पराजय की कगार पर है वेस्ट इंडीज इस चौथे और आखिरी टेस्ट मैच में किस तरह से स्ट्रोक खेला था ये बैकफुट पर जाकर पुल करना चाहते थे मिड विकेट की तरफ लेकिन स्ट्रोक का टाइमिंग ठीक नहीं हुआ सामने की तरफ गेंद चली गई अपनी मेहनत की सही फसल अपने लिए पैदा कर ली है वाह अब तक तेरह विकेट इस टेस्ट मैच में ले लिए हैं और भारतीय विजय के अगर जो कि बिल्कुल नजदीक है उसके प्रमुख शिल्पकार फिरवानी निश्चित रूप से अच्छा भाई और जब बॉलिंग में पैनापन होता है तो फील्डिंग में भी चुस्ती फुर्ती और मुस्तैदी आ जाती है जैसा कि दिखाई दे रहा है समय भारतीय फील्डर्स में अर्षता युग लोगी को आपने देखा ही होगा कि इसी विकेट पर वेस्ट इंडीज के स्पिनर्स कोई प्रभाव भारतीय बैट्समैन पर नहीं जमा पाए थे कप्तान रवि शास्त्री मद्रास का ये एम एच इंदम स्टेडियम और चीपक मैदान जैसे रोमांचकारी मैचों के लिए मशहूर हो गया है आपको याद होगा ऑस्ट्रेलिया के खिलाफ यहां पर मैच टाई में समाप्त हुआ था और अब बहुत ही शक्तिशाली समझी जाने वाली ये वेस्ट इंडीज की टीम जो कि श्रृंखला में एक शून्य से अब तक आगे थी इस चौथे और आखिरी टेस्ट मैच में बिल्कुल पराजय की कगार पर खड़ी है छह विकेट पर पचानवे रन स्कोर कार्ड इस प्रकार है हेंस एलबीडब्ल्यू हिरवानी छह सिमंस कॉट अमरनाथ बोल्ड हिरवानी चौदह रिचि रिचर्डसन कॉट अमरनाथ बोल्ड अयूब सात विविन रिचर्ड्स कॉट कपिल देव बोल्ड हिरवानी चार ऊपर स्टंप मोरे बोल्ड हिरवानी आठ और दूजा स्टंप मोरे बोल्ड हिरवानी दो अधिकांश तया हिरवानी अपनी लेग ब्रेक्स का इस्तेमाल कर रहे हैं और अपनी गूगली का बहुत ही चुना हुआ मिश्रण कर रहे हैं के ऊपर से छह रन
गेंद की पिच तक आया क्लाइड बट्स और हाफ वॉली पर लेकर उठा दिया लॉन्ग ऑन के ऊपर से देखिए कदमों का अच्छा इस्तेमाल और सही टाइमिंग के साथ लॉन्ग ऑन पर छे वेस्ट इंडीज के 100 रन 102 मिनट में बने सत्ताईस ओवर और चार गेंदों की समाप्ति के बाद अमरनाथ फील्डर दो रन क्लाइड बट्स के लिए बट्स का स्कोर चौदह लोगी खेल रहे हैं बयालीस रन पर वेस्ट इंडीज छह विकेट पर एक सौ तीन रन विकेट पर 103 रन महान खिलाड़ी कर्नल सीके नायडू मुश्ताक अली सी एस नायडू चंदू सरवटे और हीरा लाल गायकवाड़ के शहर से इंदौर शहर जहां से हिरवानी ने उसी परंपरा को आगे बढ़ाया है yes, not to mention some people in the box. बीट हुए लेकिन पैड पर थोड़ी ऊपर लगी थी joyous moment for indian cricket on this festive day swing kiya fine leg par ek run diya logi ne logi ka score 43 west indies 6 wicket par 104 run अरशद अयूब ने भले ही एक विकेट लिया हो लेकिन काफी दबाव दूसरे सिरे से उन्होंने बैट्समैन पर लगाए रखा और बैट्समैन के लिए किसी भी प्रकार की राहत नहीं दी सब मैदान पर छह विकेट पर 104 रन वेस्ट इंडीज का दूसरी पारी का स्कोर तैतालीस रन पर लोगी 14 रन पर क्लाइड बट्स लंच के बाद के पहले घंटे में 17 ओवर और एक गेंद की समाप्ति के बाद बयासी रन बने और 
आज जो सबसे ज्यादा देखने की बात वो ये थी कि कल जिस विकेट पर वेस्ट इंडीज के स्पिनर्स कोई प्रभाव नहीं जमा पाए थे उस विकेट पर आज भारतीय स्पिनर्स किस प्रकार की बॉलिंग करते हैं लेकिन जैसे ही स्पिनर्स का समावेश किया गया आक्रमण में वैसे ही भारतीय स्पिनर्स ने अपनी पूरी धाक वेस्ट इंडीज के बैट्समैन पर जमानी शुरू कर दी और बाद की बात में शक्तिशाली वेस्ट इंडीज की बैटिंग ताश के पत्ते की तरह ढहने लगी छह विकेट पर 104 रन ये स्कोर आज किस प्रकार खेल हुआ है इसकी कहानी स्वयं कहता है इस टेस्ट मैच में जहां तक भारत का सवाल है तीन नवोदित खिलाड़ियों को प्रवेश दिया गया था अजय शर्मा डब्ल्यू वी रमन और हिरवानी और तीनों ने अपनी उपयोगिता असाधारण तरीके से सिद्ध की हिरवानी ने तो अपने लिए एक इतिहास बना लिया है जबकि तेरह विकेट्स अभी तक वे ले चुके हैं और वेस्ट इंडीज का कोई भी बैट्समैन उन्हें पूरे आत्मविश्वास के साथ नहीं खेल पाया कौन बॉलर अपनी जिंदगी के पहले ही टेस्ट मैच में विविन रिचर्ड्स जैसे महान और दिग्गज बैट्समैन का विकेट पारी के दोनों पारियों में लेना नहीं चाहेगा लेकिन हिरवानी ने ऐसा किया और भारतीय क्रिकेट के लिए एक नया इतिहास रच दिया जबकि इस चौथे टेस्ट मैच में भारत विजय के द्वार पर जैसे दस्तक दे रहा है आपको याद होगा विनू मांकड़ ने दिल्ली के टेस्ट मैच में पाकिस्तान के खिलाफ सन उन्नीस सौ में एक ही टेस्ट मैच में तेरह विकेट लिए थे हिरवानी ने उनकी बराबरी की जहां तक विकेट्स का सवाल है तेरह विकेट पे ले चुके हैं और केवल जसु पटेल ने चौदह विकेट लिए सिर्फ एक रन देकर ऑस्ट्रेलिया के खिलाफ कानपुर में उन्नीस में उनसे एक विकेट पीछे हैं हिरवानी लेकिन हमें ये याद रखना चाहिए कि अभी वेस्ट इंडीज के चार विकेट गिरने शेष हैं आगे का विवरण देंगे एम एल सिन्हा लवली लवली लिटल डेब्यू फॉर दिस यंग मैन फ्रॉम इंदौर सुशील एस टोल यू मैसी ऑस्ट्रेलिया सिक्सटीन विकेट For 137 runs at Lords in 1972 on his debut, and Hirwani, 13 wickets so far. On the ball, a cotton noose tightening around the West Indian batting. Good shot through mid wicket. Amanad giving chase and just pulling up in front of the boundary. But playing with a great deal of freedom. it to mid wicket for four or is it six a massive hit the chassis no doubt slightly concerned moments to ponder Picking it up and 
smashing through midway. Field not showing any change except that Amanath is laying back a little on mid on. Butts on 20, his previous best being 18. Six for one, one, three, bucks and twenty. And Logie on forty six. The men out Haynes, Simmons, Richardson, Richards, Hooper to John. Logie forty six and bucks. Change in the bowling from the pavilion in Shastri for the first time from the pavilion in impose left arm orthodox on a wicket that is certainly assisting and baiting spin. And Jay, I think he'll get a lot of purchase bowling from the pavilion end. Yes, I would like to see Shastri from the pavilion end and Ayub from the far end. Just for a little break, as far as India is concerned. Indian point of view, of course, a quick wicket now will put them on the threshold. Could have been but not quite. Hard return. Shastri getting his hands. Not quite. Not quite in position to take that uh, return catch. It seems to have uh, certain amount of damage to the index finger. Nevertheless, a drop catch. Once again, the full toss proving dangerous. As it so often does. Logi.
Foggy on to 51. The fighting innings from this uh, diminutive West Indian batter. Refreshing display of strokes. And another one over the top. And this time for six. Logie is 50 in 55 minutes of 48 deliveries, six fours and one six. Belligerent innings from him. And the holiday atmosphere is almost infectious. Logie displaying typical Calypso cricket, going for his shots. And West Indies, 125 for 6. Logie 57, Butts on 21. Iwani commencing his 11th over on the trot. 5 for 56 for his efforts today. A great attempt by Azhar to bring it off. Ball dropping just short. Brilliant effort by him. But playing against the spin, getting a leading edge. And what an effort by Azharuddin to bring off a half chance. One twenty nine for six, butts on twenty four, Logie on fifty eight. And butts not afraid to use his feet, living dangerously, but getting away with it. Ajay Sharma in the covers. Feel more and more backward point. Just off the picture, there he comes into it. Trying his best. One twenty nine for six to West Indies. Shastri to Logie. That's the spot, that's the spot which Shastri has to hit. Stop. Looked a certain four, but Irwani 
moving quickly to his right. Logie on 59, Butts on 24, and West Indies 130 for 6. In the 50 partnership for the 7th wicket between Logie and Butts in 33 minutes. Logie is certainly playing a great innings under difficult circumstances. A great shot. A great shot of the back foot. Tremendous power behind that. And into the 60s he goes. 63 to Logie. 25 to Butts. West Indies, 135 for 6. Full face of the bat. Tremendous power. And this is the type of Calypso cricket spectators around the world enjoy. Irrespective of the situation, the West Indians play their game their way. 11 overs, one maiden, five wickets for 60 runs. Here one is figures. Starts his 12th over, facing him his bats. The last wicket fell when the score was 79, now 135 for 6. <laughs> Matsman out in this innings, Haynes, LBW, Ivani, 6, Simmons, Caught Amanath, bowled Hirwani, 14. Richardson caught Amanath, bowled Ayub, 7. Richards caught Kapil Dev, bowled Hirwani, 4. Cooper and Dujon were stumped off Hirwani. 8 and 2. Butts is batting on 25. Logie on 63. Arun Lal at mid wicket. Maiden over, 12 overs, 5 for 16. Hirwan is bigger. Those of you who may have tuned in late, India declared a 217 for 8, setting the West Indies 415 runs to win. And that's the scorecard up to the minute. Outstanding performance from the Indian leg spinner, picking up five wickets for the second time.
calling change. Ayub, the off spinner, once again coming in place of Shastri from the pavilion end. and on the spot with the wicket assisting him Amanath led by signal by the umpire Butts and Logi putting a halt to the procession which one witnessed early on. Salvaging some pride and prestige for the West Indians. out for 83 this morning got behind of Walsh disappointing whole heap of fans who turned up to watch him but he'd done his job So both Ayub and Hevani checking the West Indians. Successive maidens. Twelve overs, five maidens, one for thirty-one. Board president amongst 40,000 spectators watching the proceedings. That's in the air. Just out of reach of Raman, who made a gallant attempt to catch him. Empire Ram Babu Gupta declaring a boundary. Raman was rather wide at long off. 67 to Logi, the West Indies 140 for six. Porter raises his finger and is the third stumping of the inning for Mori and Logi after a fine effort of 67 departs crestfallen But it's the Wonder Man, Hirvani, after his eighth wicket haul in the first innings, picking up his sixth wicket in the second innings to give him 14 wickets for the match so far. The flight, the spin, the length, deceiving. 
Logie and Mori making no mistake. Winston Davis coming in. Take another look. The big hoik. umpire reporter certainly in the best position to watch. And in a match which Hirwani has made his own and rewritten the score books and the record books. He equals Jasu Patel's record of 14 wickets in a match. Jasu Patel taking 14 wickets for 124 against the Australians at Kanpur. And that was perilously close to the off stump. Davis not reading the googly. Successful over for Hirvani. The wicket of Logie for 67 in 70 minutes came of 61 deliveries with eight boundaries. With two sixes in it and eight, eight fours. And Hirvani's figures 13 overs, two maidens, six for 46. Six for 64. Certainly a staggering performance. And if one may say that this pitch has helped him, one should not forget that at Chandigarh, playing for the Indian under 25s, Hirwani took six wickets also against the West Indies. Ayu from round the wicket to Bats. That one turned viciously. Hundred and forty for seven. Bats on twenty five. His high score in test cricket. This camper for a quick single. Just make it because the throw from Raman was not very accurate. In fairness to the youngster, it must be said that he had to turn and throw blind with no time. Butts on 26 and brings Davis to face Sayub. Thirteen overs, five maidens, one for thirty-two. Hope figures. 
He's not allowed any of the West Indian batsmen to take liberties against him. The only occasion when he looked like being collared was when Logie got after him and hoisted him over long on for a six and a four. Very warm and sultry afternoon at Madras. But obviously this young man cannot complain about anything. a big hit and umpire Rambaru signals a six and it's his third six in this innings for Butts batting with 32 Ivani not afraid to toss the ball up, inviting the hits and hoping to pick up wickets in the process. Narun Lal lunges at that one. Cannot grab it. The West Indies are 151 for 7, 36 to Butts, Davis yet to get off the mark. And if viewers may be wondering, are there any other records for Hirwani to chase? There certainly is, because Massey, Bob Massey of Australia, in his debut, took 16 wickets against England at Lord. The 150 of the West Indies has come up in 141 minutes in the 38th over. But from the Indian viewpoint, and more importantly from their viewpoint, the West Indies have lost seven wick wickets. Indian team desperately looking for a win to level the series. And if they get it, it will be their first win against the West Indies since 1979. Harwani's career took a turn for the worse in the tour of the West Indies in 1989-90. The batsman deliberately attacked his bowling and even at Port of Spain, where the wicket helped spinners, he could do little. Thereafter, he had little success in his international career. Harwani was too slow in the air to cause trouble, except on the wickets which turned sharply. One of the few memorable performances was in the last league match of 1991-92 World Series. India needed to beat West Indies to qualify for the final, picked unexpectedly. Narinder Hawani played an important part with a spell in which he picked Brian Lara's stumped-off flipper and Richie Richardson leg before wicket. 
on the back foot with a leg break. This was not sufficient to find him a place in the team for the World Cup that followed. His next chance came in a test series against New Zealand four years later on a rain-affected match. He took 6 for 59. He toured England in 1996 and played two more test matches against South Africa at home. In 2001, he was picked in the 14 to play against Australia at home, but he never made the final 11. After the series, he went to the press ground first, criticizing Indian captain Saurabh Ganguly for not choosing him. Narendra Harwani continued to be a prominent bowler in domestic cricket. He took over 400 wickets for Madhya Pradesh in Ranji Trophy and retired from first-class cricket at the end of 2005-2006 season. If you like this video, please comment, share and subscribe. Thank you very much.